Hello, everyone. You may call me Tabby. You know, you tried to do something nice. You tried to bring some joy to the world. And no, 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 no. D don't. Yeah, no. This, this is for the video. Nothing, nothing has been happening. You tried to do something nice. You tried to bring some joy to the world. And then, when you, when you try to bring joy, when you try to make changes, society doesn't often let you. The Royal Knights of England do not like tomfoolery, except for their bards. The king doesn't stand for happiness. He stands for treachery. But he's not alone. He has been joined by the Monkey King and his loyal followers. And even still, the Vikings, the Norsemen, have been, have also happened to be here because they're invading, because they're Vikings. But the gods are also with them. This is it. This is our, our one and only stand. We have to defend what is ours. We have to defend this right, this ability to be who we are. We are outnumbered. We are outmanned. We are out everything. And I messed up this name. And yet, we will win. We will win because we have one secret weapon. His name is George. George here is the one, the only. No one can defeat George, except for one. Only one can beat George, and that is the end. Let us begin. Immediately, we have a lot of crippling everything. So, I did actually manage to fix the bomb Annas. Now they're called the bomb Anna elites. They have very low health. They charge in, they grapple you, and then they die. But not before the real bomb Annas do what they do best. Okay, nope, mm, nope, mm. I, I have gone overboard. As is, as, as is my standard. I have done too much. What happened? What is, why? What? <laughs> George! George, the end! The, oh, the end is dead. The end is over. Well, that's the episode. Have a good day. I'm, I'm kidding. So, here we stand for freedom, for, for everything. We, we, we are going to bring joy to this world. They may, they may say no, but we, we will say yes. They do not know the power I possess. The king has fallen. And I, my bum apples, I mean, bum an, bum an, bum apples. Hmm. My bum annas stand mostly intact. And we will redefine this world. I have done too much. I... I have unleashed utter chaos. So George here has a bunch of fun special abilities, but most importantly of all, he shoots apples, and he also shoots love arrows.
<laughs> this is why the world rose up. <laughs> they couldn't allow me to do this. <laughs> this this goes against everything that they believe in. <laughs> the world is not ready. <laughs> no one can be ready. <laughs> Uh, it is too bad I could not figure out how to make a custom-made watcher that shoots love arrows. I wanted to make a watcha that shot pumpkins. And, uh, George here is actually going to, uh, shoot pumpkins. But, the pumpkins explode as soon as they leave the gun, and it kills him immediately. Which, if I wanted to do that with the, uh, the Bomb Apple Elites, the Bomb Anna Elites, I could. They, it would be an immediate death, and unfortunately, they would, uh... But if I put it in her hands... Can I... I mean, kind of. The world tried to rise up. And we told the world, we will not fall for this. We will stand for this. We will not sit by and watch. <laughs> we will not. We will not stay on the ground. We will. We will fly like the majestic birds we are. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't even know what I've done. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what this has brought. I, uh, I think my uh, bum anders are dead. I don't think... I don't think we're going to survive this. The world. Sometimes you stand up as hard as you can, but the world will just come and knock you down. There's a lesson to be learned in this. No matter how much you cheat, no matter how much fun you have, the winged angels who want nothing but order will always win. That is... until the end comes. And when the end does come, and it comes a lot, and it comes everywhere, when the end will, the end will come, and it will be on the ground, everywhere. The come will remind you of what is to come, and what is coming will always smack you in the face. Red hot arrows of love. are coming to you. Also apples. Yes. The end is coming. The end will not be stopped. The king cannot stand against the end. He lost his wife in the war. He will run. He will try to hide. But the king will fall in love.
this is a really cinematic shot. That, oh, yes, this, this, yes, that will be the screenshot right there. Beautiful. Oh, I don't know. There's so many very delicious looking shots. I say delicious because there are apples everywhere. Also, because you need your daily dose of potassium. So, you should definitely eat your potatoes. Your spuds. Oh! You know, I used to be an adventurer like him. But then I took an arrow to the knee. They said World War I was the, uh... The war that changed wars. They obviously have not fought for love. The end is near. Yes. Show us. Show us the power of your love. The end will consume you all. <laughs> oh my gosh, this there's so much happening that even in slow motion I am starting to lose frames. Well, when the world rises against you, sometimes Sometimes this happens. Run! Get away! Escape the end. The end of everything. You can still make it. You're sp- You're- Are you gonna beat them with an oar? I, I appreciate your, uh, yeah, go for it, Zeus, can you stand against the end of time? Can these angels evade what is to come into their faces? I would un I would unslow this down, but as soon as I unslow it down, it will just become a giant mess. I I do realize this is not the most entertaining way to see these battles, but just sit back and enjoy the art. Imagine this a painting on your wall. This this is this is what Thor should have been. When Valkyrie was charging in with Hela. This is what it should have looked like. Yes. This is so beautiful. I am so consumed with this. Into the time distortion bubble where nothing can enter or leave. It has no gravity. Nothing can stand against it. The Valkyries have fallen. Oh, that's right. I still have, they still have those, those flattened baler sticks. I forget, I, I forget to keep taking that off. Not that I want to. Oh. You know, I would never pluck the wings off of the insects that I mercilessly kill but that is only because I do not like touching insects also I'm not a sociopath oh I think this is evidence to the to the contrary only only a true psycho sociopath would 
would ever dare <laughs> would allow this to happen. We have lost one end. The end is over for him. Oh, we still have a banana, bum apple, bum bum anna, bum anna, bum anna, bum anna, bum anna, bum anna. I I will eventually make a bum apple. It'll be bombastic and delicious. Yes. Who is left? Who isn't dead? Someone over here is pretending. This happened. La I, I was doing tests because I wanted to see how how balanced these were, how fair and balanced. And as you can see, they're extremely fair and balanced. Okay. So. I hope you enjoyed that extremely slow and annoying battle, but annoying is what I specialize in. Anyone who's read my fanfictions would know that. I'm just the most annoying writer in the world. That's not at all what I wanted. Main menu. Wait, is it because I put to loading? Whatever. And tactically challenging levels. Now that we have our completely fair and balanced army all in, we're not there yet. We just got past Zeus. Well, we'll redo Zeus again. Why not? Last time I was I was cheating and I was I, I was I was not playing fair last time. So I'm gonna make up for that. by yes unfortunately I will be losing this battle because somebody George I could have sworn I fixed Urla, Urza. I could have sworn. No, I did. I did fix her. Okay. Urza's. Okay. And now let's So originally George had a machine gun and uh Yeah. Wookie helpers. I think I did this last time. Isn't isn't this exactly what I did last time? Yes, I did this last time. Like I said, they do not have explosives strapped on them for when they go for when they die. This is completely ethical. They agree to this. And they know that if they fail, their families will fail too. Yep. Isn't that something? Those poor Wookiees. Oh, yes, because I unleashed Water Tribe here. Well, I did not unleash the end. Twice. 
With the George. <laughs> liar, liar. Yes. Okay, I really still need to get used to these controls. Oh! Yes! Oh! Okay, I'm a, I'm a sucker for explosions. Uh, I don't know if you can tell that yet. If anyone is still guessing what I'm about, you have your answer. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. All right. Um, the end is too expensive. But George isn't. And some... Okay, fine. Okay. So, this will be the last battle. I can only record up to 30 minutes using the software I have, so... Uh, keeping track of that's a little hard for me. So that's why these episodes are so short, otherwise I'd have more fun and do this for probably an hour. But, here we are. So, last battle. So, as you can see, they're extremely fast, but much like with bananas and banana peels, they don't stand up very well. Yes. That is... You're gonna die, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. I refuse to leave this... like that. That is not who I am. Yes, Hadurkadur. So, I, I rewatched some of the old footage when I had uh, the Bomb Mana. Its first debut. And it, it fell backwards. Wait, it was not the Bomb Mana. It was a, a different unit. It was going against this thing over here, this, uh, which I was mistakenly calling a Gatlin the whole time. It's not a Gatlin, it's a Balisa. And, uh, are you gonna make it? I made them so slow. Yes. They made it. Anyway. That's gonna have to, uh, that's gonna have to be today's episode. Anyway, have a good day, and uh, see you next time. Goodbye!